specific thing you're trying to fix with the SLI children? Right. Are you trying to get them into speaking normally or are you trying to kind of either augment their understanding or is it kind of providing an alternate way of communicating, communication okay. rather? Right. It, it depends. I would say it's really being able to, first of all, communicate. So for a child who doesn't use language at all to get them to use language gradually and for the children who are having certain problems so let's say they have certain um, ways of pronouncing certain words and you want to, them to pronounce it the correct way the standard way someone is uh, using incorrect grammar these are more normal problems um, so basically it's trying to standardize the communication and make them blend in with the natural world rather than stand out that this child has a has a problem yeah uh, make it the least um, obstructive to their daily functioning. That's that's the end goal. And it depends on where the children are in terms of their um, capabilities, because not every child would be able to reach the same level. But it's trying to get to the best level that that child can achieve. It's a long process because uh, for SLI affected children, the process of learning is going to be slower. And where AI can help is if I look back to the example you were talking about music, it being really fun, mm -hmm. what AI could potentially, it's not there, but what mm -hmm. AI could potentially help in, in the future is the children might be able to get that independence to be able to play with the AI and develop the skills themselves. Mm -hmm.